Hello everyone. Let's close our discussion with uh, the last topic of the color mixing and the um, color of the objects in different lights. This is the magenta flower. So we have magenta flower over here and we are going to study about its, uh, its color in different colored lights. So let's impart white light on it. White light is made up of red, blue and green. Now magenta is made up of red and blue. So the pigments in this flower are going to absorb its complementary color that is green. So the green light is going to get absorbed. Red and blue are not going to get absorbed. So red and blue are going to be present in the reflected light and they mix together to form magenta color. So in white light green gets absorbed, red and blue combine together to form magenta finally reaching our eye. So we see magenta color of this rose in white light. Okay, let's impart some red color light on it. We know that it only absorbs green color. So the red light gets falls on it and these pigments are not going to absorb this red light. So the red light is present in the reflected uh, light and finally we perceive the color of this rose as red in red light. Let's take green color. This green color will be totally absorbed by the pigments inside. So nothing reaches our eye and when no light reaches our eye, we see this as black. Right? Okay. Let's impart blue color on it. Blue also does not get absorbed. Pigments are only capable of absorbing the green light. So blue gets reflected totally, reaches our eye. So we perceive this rose as blue in blue light. And if we use cyan color or if we use cyan light on it, cyan light is made up of blue and green. So we can also write like this that blue and green are together falling instead of cyan, no one and the same thing and the green is going to get absorbed, blue color doesn't get absorbed, finally reaching our eye. So in cyan light we see this rose as blue. Now let's impart yellow light on it. Yellow light is made up of red and green color. So red and green out of which the green gets absorbed, red doesn't get absorbed. So the red reaches our eye. So we see the color of this as red in yellow light. So this rose appears red in yellow light. And finally, if we impart magenta light, now magenta is made up of red and blue. So red color and blue color, they are not going to get absorbed. So what is going to happen? Both of them, they are going to reflect, get reflected, hence reaching our eye. So we see the mixed color that is of red and blue as magenta. So in magenta light, this flower appears magenta because this does not absorb green color. Sorry, this absorbs green color which is absent over here. 